hello guys welcome to my youtube channel paul designed it and today we'll be looking at graphic design course for beginners and intermediates and on this course today we'll be looking at one what is graphic design color typography images and visual hierarchy what is graphic design graphic design is basically an art of visual communication that uses colors text and images to convey information to a specific audience. You can agree with me that 9 out of 10 times, it is accompanied with a motive of getting the audience to do a particular thing. For example, when you pick up a flyer, you see it's either saying buy this product or colors for this service. Or when you're on a website, you, you get to see things like sign up for a newsletter. Now, the whole design on that site was to Okay, the whole design and the content, but the design was pointing at site. It just has it has something that is pointing for you to actually do. And that's just it. Every design has the motive of getting the audience to do a particular thing or feel a particular way. So now let's dive into the basics of graphic design. These are just the fundamentals. The number one on the list is color. Color is one of the most important elements of design. It doesn't just beautify alone. It calls people's attention to your design and it evokes a particular feeling or emotion in your audience. Now let's take yellow for, for instance. Yellow is, yellow, is, yellow is a color that signifies happiness, cheerfulness and fun. And it is used sometimes in creating designs for children. I would really love us to dive into colors but Colors and graphic design is actually a broad topic and if we should start, that's a whole one hour video. But I will be sharing with you a no fail technique that will guide you, help you in picking the right colors for your design. Now the first uh, step or the, rather the first uh, method on the technique is identify who the design is for and what people should feel when they see it. Now this is very important. When someone calls you up, hey design this, design a flyer for me, design a website for me, design a logo for me, design whatever, whatsoever at all, the first thing you, know, you need to identify is this thing I'm designing, who is it for? Is it for the youth? Is it for adults? Is it for children? Is it for, is it for a school? Is it for an organization? whatsoever just identify and what should they feel about what what should be the first thing they feel about your design that's very very important now the next thing uh tip number two is um go on google and search oh actually on this tip i said search colors associ associated with children and colors associated with food why it's like that was I was given an instance in the first tip, which I didn't include, sorry. I was saying, let us take a design that was meant for children and their food, for example. Now, the next, let's say that is what you want to design. Let's say you want to design for children and that design is actually children feed or like their food rather, sorry. What you need to do is go on Google and search colors associated with children, write it down colors associated with food you write it down now you have a list of colors right now i want you to do i want you to do something which is the third thing and it says um pick out three colors yeah pick out three colors out of the whole color one the background color two the text color three call to action texts or button now the first one is the background color it should never drag attention with the actual design it could be very light it could be a very light color that doesn't irritate the eyes like looking at this design of mine you can see the background color is um as a light ash or so but it's not it doesn't irritate the eye and it's not taking the attention it's not taking your attention your whole focus is on the color and on the text so that's how your background color should actually be. And the next one is the text color. This should be strong and visible enough for anyone to see. 
obviously looking at this design on this particular page you can see everything virtually everything everything now the third one is the call to action text or button this should stand out in the design it should stand out it should stand out that anyone even when the design is far from anyone's eyes or sight they can actually know that wow this thing is calling my attention what is that now this call to action text or button are things like buy now click this link those things that 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 that's a purpose of that that's um action you want them to take or that's okay call this line those are the call to action button or text so they should stand out in the design now you might want to ask can the design have more than three colors yes it can but if you are new to design i would really suggest please stick to three colors or four at most please 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 don't exceed that so your design doesn't look messy you can even go with two colors so your design doesn't look messy all right now the next basics or rather the next fundamental of graphic design we'll be looking at is typography typography is the arrangement of text in a design to grab attention convey a mass uh, convey a message or spice up your design yeah that's that's basically typography every every writing you see on this on this design now it's arranged to spice it up to convey a message it's conveying a message there the typography alone grabbed your attention <laughs> so that's that's just it and there are two terminologies you should know when we when we speak on typography one is typeface the other is font now what is typeface typeface are characters that share common features and on the screen you can see helios is a typeface roboto is a typeface now what is a font a font is a particular style and weight within a typeface let's move to the next slide so you understand better now looking at this slide you can see the typeface here is roboto and the font is roboto thin roboto light roboto regular let me break it down so you understand it a typeface is the family now you come to my family uh mr paul's family that's uh, that's the typeface but when you are looking for paul me in particular not any other member of my family when you single me out now i stand as a font so that's the difference between a typeface and a font the typeface is the general why the font is that particular one you seek all right now for the purpose of this tutorial we'll be looking at only two type classification number one is serif and number two is sound sound serif now uh, what's, a serif, what's a serif font serif are fonts that have a decorative strokes that finishes off uh, that finishes off the end of a letter stem now look closely at this look closely you will see this laura the l has a stroke around it the r has a stroke now these are these are serif fonts that's how you know serif fonts if you look closely all of them have uh, a stroke at the end or that's just so different differentiate the serif from the sun serif all right um serif font because of their easy readability you can actually read them they are used in writing long group of text like your books yeah they, you you write books with um serif font uh blog posts magazines newspapers or even on your flyer designs where you have to write long text or short group of text you also use serif font now the next oh sorry the examples you have here uh number one you have the laura two cardo three meriwether four no to serif display so these are all serif there are lots of them there are lots of them depending on the tool you are using to design
you can find them there in the text section now the next one we are looking at is sun serif um, one time i read sun actually means um without without serif without the strokes that's no strokes sun serif that's basically what it means sun serifs are fonts without strokes they are beautiful when used as heading when your newspaper headings your book headings those big large fonts and they're beautiful when used as headings especially when the text weight is heavy when the text is bold 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 and the examples we have here is the Arial, two the open sounds three the helios these are just the few i can count out here but i am currently working on a video on typography to help you better uh, combine typography while designing because most of the times people mess things up in designs that have to do with all text thinking using more beautiful fonts will make the design beautiful but when you use a wrong type combination it doesn't just go well but once just please do me a favor subscribe subscribe so when i drop a video you'll be notified leave a comment below i will like i will reply just 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 make sure you're following up so whenever i drop the video you are aware now the next uh, basic the next basic of graphic design is images images are very beautiful element of design designs that have image of people animal or something the audience can relate with they create better emotional connection with the audience choosing the right image for a design is as important as choosing the right color believe me so then what is the right image well the right image is a high definition image that suits the design in question that's just it once the image suits the design it's the right image the right quality image it has it's it's a a, a high definition image the shape is okay it's not awkward it doesn't make the it doesn't make the design look awkward the size too is okay that's 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 the right image now the image can point the audience to the information on the design it can call it can call the attention it can call the attention of people to the design or just make a whole design top notch Sometimes you see a, you see an image in the design, it spice up a feeling you're happy about the design. Sometimes it points your attention. Oh, it's pointing towards buy now. It's pointing towards order now. Ah, that's that's just that there, there, there are many reasons why you can put an image in your design. So, because of time, let's look at the three HD the three free HD image resource. And the number one on the list is free pick dot com number two is pixabay.com number three is pexels.com these three sites they have all you can ask for but then if you don't find the image you want in any of these three i would advise you go on google and search using the exact terminology or using the exact um um keyword you want to get the image and you download it but please make sure whatever image you download for your design is actually a free image don't download uh an image that is for sale and use it on your design without the images you can't use without buying them please make sure you buy before you use if it is a free resource image feel free to use all right wow now the next um thing we'll be looking at is visual higher visual hierarchy sorry i was carried away the, the next thing is visual hierarchy um, visual hierarchy is the principle of arranging elements in a design to show their order of importance now look at look at this design for for instance let me explain what visual hierarchy is using this design when if you move back from the screen the first thing you see on this design is hierarchy that's that's the first word i personally want you to see 
then when you come closer you see visual oh wow visual hierarchy now the next important text here is the definition or the explanation of what visual hierarchy is so that's how you approach design that's basically how you approach design now there are various ways to apply hierarchy in design but for the sake of this course we'll be looking at just three number one is size number two alignment number three white space white space all right okay let me plead one more time again please and devil please and devil please leave a comment in the comment section i will reply i promise if you have a question about design if you have a question about the tools for design and all just leave a question in leave a question leave a, your feedback just drop something in the comment section i will reply i will reply i will reply i will reply now then the first thing on the list is size people notice larger elements more easily when you turn when i turned on this slide the first thing you noticed was size 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 then you 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 came closer to see okay wow people notice larger elements easily that's just what size does you can make the most important elements in your design bigger than the rest and the least important element the smallest that's just that you play around with the size now it shouldn't just be for the text alone it can also be regarding the text com compared to the the image if you want people to see the image first you can actually make the image more bigger than the text the next one in the in the in the mo in the second most important element in that particular design so that's just it so while designing have that in your mind don't make everything equal there are those there are the, there are those important ones that should be larger in size those those are the that's just the purpose of hierarchy that's why you see awesome design out there and you just can't help but love those designs those guys are good in playing around with size 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 alignments if you have elements of a design aligned to the left and some not aligned to the left people will notice they're not aligned first that's just it alignment let's say you you've been writing a uh, 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 a particular message on the left side now you you have a message probably it is free probably buy this now probably any anything at all you want to call the people's attention on first push it outside of the alignment the, the normal alignment you've always had if the text were on the right you can actually push that one towards the center or the right now, when, when, when the eyes is flowing through the design, people tend to stop when they find out, find out that, wow, why is this one not aligned? Now, they go there to know what is actually written there. So, that's just what alignment does. That's just it. Alignment. You can play around with alignment. That's just it. Now, the next on the list is um, white space. The list of... Um, how to apply hierarchy to your design visual hierarchy to your design is white space now the more okay more space around elements draws the eyes towards them let's look at the the this example below is now you can see the digital arts and experiments at the center when you first saw it that was the first thing you saw that's that was that's the most important element in this particular design now look at the, the the white space around it obviously that's the first thing you just have to look at then when you look at it you look at the, the thing under it so that's just how you can play with white space you can combine you can you can apply hierarchy in your design using colors uh repetition proximity and so many of them but don't first all um all this application at once you can start by trying out two probably the white space and the alignment for example on this particular design one can actually play around with alignment alongside the white space you can actually work with size yes yeah, size also applies to here because the digital arts and experiments 
is not the normal size of is not of equal size with other text it is the most important in this design so they had to make it larger so that's just it visual hierarchy is one important thing that makes your design one beautiful two it shows that wow the guy be the, the guy that created this design understands design it's not clo this is not clustering designs this is not trying to make everything uh beautiful or make everything equal is it's a principle of design you need to understand to get your design looking perfect like perfect all right so <laughs> If you're an aspiring graphics designer or a graphics designer hoping to improve your graphic design skill and also master how to design using the Canva mobile app, this channel Paul designed it is all you need. I promise you. All you just have to do is like the video, share to other aspiring graphics designers and subscribe to be notified when I drop another graphic design tutorial video. And at this point, I must really commend you for staying till the very end of it. And I hope your notes is quite filled up and you've learned something new. Now, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for learning on my channel. I love you and I appreciate you a lot till I drop my next video.